Hi guys, Squirrel here, and uh, welcome to another episode of Scania Truck Driving Simulator. Last video was a first look, and we did the driving license, all complete, and we did a dangerous drive, the road of death. Time to move on to the next one, Embankment. The main road is out under repair, there is no choice but to use the passage along the riverside, it's not going to be easy, this alternative route certainly wasn't meant for trucks. Sounds like fun. Let's give it a whirl. Okay. Reverse the truck back from the closed road. You can see the accident there on the bridge. Looks like we've got to drive it round this course here. That's looked fairly narrow. Drive carefully along the route along the riverbank. I can see some fairly tight spots there, like right there. That looks nasty. And that's a hell of a 90 degree bend. Reach your goal when you pass this embankment line. Okay, let's have a go. Oops, first things first, let's have a quick look, there we go, that one, okay, we've got two trucks back there, got people walking over the bridge in a very robotic fashion, okay, I think we're going to get rid of that mirror, we're going to do it man mode, start reversing up here, I think we can keep a fairly straight line, so obviously this test is going to be about not colliding with anything. A lot of it's going to come down to the trailer position. That should do it. Steady as she goes, watching their mirrors. At least you got good mirrors, that's the main thing. the inside line. Oh, we almost clipped it. Oh, I did. I did. I hit something. Let's try and get through this bit. Keep the truck off the front there. Now, I need to go as straight as I can. If I start cutting back too quickly, the trailer's going to clip. There we go. Just about made that. Watch the car. Oh, the car just got scraped. That's two. A penalty again. That's three, four, five. Oh my god. I get multiple penalty points here. That was... It's so ridiculously narrow. To go right out over here. And cut back along this wall, I think. And then... Having got... Oh, God, it's still hit. Good grief. Okay, okay, okay. Just count them as one collision. Good God. Wow, this is so narrow. The problem is that trailer's quite wide. Quite flat as well. It's like packed glass or something. This is This looks narrow. Start turning about now, I think. Straighten her up. Which of which don't scratch my scan here. Okay, that's that bit clear. There's quite a lot of penalty points so far, though. Good grief. Now, the trick is here to get as far left as I can. And then turn at the very last second. Narrowly avoiding that cross barrier, crash barrier. Inside looks good. We're in the clear. Let's find out just how many penalties I just got. Wow, minus 1300. I got zero points. Oh my god. 300 points for a challenge and minus 1300 for collisions. Um, let's try that again. That was terrible. Yeah, I think we know what we're doing. Let's get rid of those mirrors, it keeps putting back for some reason. This bit's easy enough. Just a straight reverse. However, given that I only get 300 points for the challenge, and it's 100 points every time I touch something, 
this challenge really isn't about the time you do it in it's about not touching anything at all he's deceptive this it doesn't look that hard but it really is the tolerances are just you know so minute and when you're in your cabin it's not so bad if you're outside in third person but when you're inside this truck it's very hard to know what the, the limits of the, the boundaries of your truck are the edge of your trailer is the trailer feels so much longer than it probably is just watching that right hand side I've cleared it on the left but obviously I've got to be careful before I start turning back in I've got to get as much forward as I can like, like here how far am I off there? I'm close, I'm really close, so I need to start turning. But seeing the offside corner when you're inside your truck is quite tricky. I need to follow the contour of this thing as much as possible. Try and squeeze as much room out of this thing before I start turning back in. Last time I managed to hit that guy's car doing this. I think I've cleared that. Just try and follow that edge. I don't want my trailer to come in there. Uh, now I need to brake across and then turn it right, I think. Wow, this is tough. If I head for those cars now and then swing the truck back into the right. Where am I? Okay. Leave the turning into the last second. I can't see it from near the... I think I should miss that if I'm on full lock. I should just about miss, he says. Yeah, just watching the trailer wheel, that looks okay. Try and get over here as much as I can. Give me as much turning space as I can over there. I've got to follow the edge best as I can without hitting the wall obviously I'm just gonna go along this edge as much as possible the trailer's gonna start cutting in any second now I should be a good I think to start moving over I think oh crikey that looks close Wow. I can't move in at all. Good grief. It's just cutting back in on me. This is supremely difficult. I think I don't think I'm going to make this. I'm just going to cut this up now. Where's the edge of my truck? Yeah, look. How do I get that through there now? This is a heck of a challenge. If I can follow the line of this wall as much as possible, I might just get away with this. I think I have got away with it. Wow. Okay. Which way do we go here? To the right? To the left? It's kind of looks like the game's guiding me to the right, I'm not sure, but the tra the, tra uh, little, the track marks, tie marks on the floor seem to be hinting at this way. Just watching my trailer there, on that wall. Where am I? Yeah, that's really close. I need to straighten up left a bit now. Follow the edge of this wall as much as possible. is properly difficult I don't think my trailer is going to make it oh, I'm going to get a collision damn it come on I've got no more room I have no more room I can try and squeeze a few more inches down this side but 
I don't think I can avoid this, can I? I really don't think I can avoid a collision. I'm going as much over as I can, but... It's about to make contact. <laughs> my truck... My truck wheel is almost touching the wall. Look, it's only just going to hit. This is such a shame. Oh, my life. How did that not hit? How did that not hit? I am very surprised, I'll be honest with you. Right, we've just got this final 90 degree bend. Assuming I don't hit the trailer on the inside wall. As long as I keep all the way as much to the left as I can, lead my turn to the last minute. Stay as close to this barrier as I can. What's the inside looking like? Can't see. can't tell if I'm going to hit anything or not, to be honest. I thought it's just clearing it, I think. I think we've done it! Oh my god! Oh, wow! Wow, that was hard. 300 points, no penalties. Exterior camera used, I don't care. I didn't drive with it on, though. It should, it should make a distinction between me using the exterior camera to drive with and me stopping and using the exterior camera, which is really no different to me getting out of my truck. I'll admit it should not point off if I, uh, if I drive in third person, but I didn't, and it, and it should definitely make a distinction, but my god, that was hard. 6 minutes 40 seconds. <laughs> On to the next challenge, the flood. The city is in serious trouble due to heavy rainfall in the nearby mountains, parts of the city, blah blah blah. Transport the rescue material across the flood zone. Watch out for the debris left behind by the flood wave. Oh my god, look at this. Your goal is accomplished when your vehicle reaches the safe zone. Holy cow. The flooded area is deemed safe enough to pass the maximum car. Try getting supplies to where they are needed. Blimey. Okay. Um, I'm not really sure what the dangers are right now. Obviously there's a lot of flood water, but are the, are the deep bits? I said avoid the debris. Logic says you shouldn't be driving too quickly through this flood water. I have seen... Australian truckers where they've driven through 1500 meters of flood and I've seen the speeds they go so I guess it's a case a bit like the last one we've got to drive through and not be careful we don't cut this stuff up presume it's going to get a lot tighter in a second Maybe you could go a lot faster along here, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, we're kind of going up now. Some lot of debris on the road. Oh, oh, oh. Penalty for collision. With... Hmm. Well, that's three penalties. Did the trailer kick up when I did that, then? I think we better just give it a once over and find out what the issues are and then try and do it a bit better. I think that's probably the best way of doing it. Trailer's moving around a bit. This looks like an interesting bit. Look at this. Look at it. you got to get the line straight through here. That wasn't so bad. Man molded that. Let's go around this debris. Cars. I guess I'm going this way. This is a hell of a flood, I have to admit. I can see debris on the right. I'm not sure how far into that I can go without it causing a problem. I'm going to head straight for this car and then turn it last second and come around this van. 
and straighten up down here. I think we're fairly home and dry now, it's just a last minute, a last turn. Truck's ducking and diving. This is a fairly tight bend with some wood sticking out there. Try and avoid that. Floor it and get out of there. So I reckon about 300 penalty points, I think it counted that collision as three bits. Yeah. I got 200 points for doing it. I could probably do it. We'll push on to the next one though, because that, I mean, I can take that. I can take that. Move on to the next one. Rock concert! Drive your tractor over to the trailer with sound equipment. <laughs> Attach the trailer. Apparently, got to do some urgent delivery of sound equipment. So drive it down here. Your task is accomplished when you manoeuvre out of the concert area. Well, that's not a very long drive, is it? Okay, so what we've got to do is this. We've got to reverse down here. And then there's a turning which has to be made. Uh, about here, I think. I'm going to have to go this way. Typical backstage concert, cars everywhere. And then I'm going to get my truck around through this. Oh my life, are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Wow, I actually thought I was going to scratch the Scania then. Come on, come on. <laughs> I'm hoping they're going the right way. Oh, this is a, No, this isn't the trailer. Where's my trailer? This is insane. I presume I've got to go here then reverse back from my trailer now. Tempted to just drive off. Screw you guys. I need to get further to the right. That's better. Miss that truck. I think my trailer's back here some more. Yeah, there we go. I've gone the right way, that's the main thing. No, I've not. Oh, well, I have, but... No, I've not. <laughs> not gone the right way at all. I've, got, I've just gone too far. <laughs> I drove right past it. It was here all along. There we go. I found it. I found my trailer. Now I've got to get through this bit. Good grief. It's alright guys, you just enjoy yourself with your rock music, you know. We'll just do all the work here, we'll just get your trailers onto the next gig. Oh my god, this is so close. Ow. Oh, I've hit something, I think my truck just hit the front there. That's a shame, because apart from that, I've done okay. I think we're home and dry now. Ooh, right, yeah. Collisions with stuff, just one. Exterior camera not used, although it did get slightly lost, but we'll, we'll, you know. It was dark, what can I say? There was rock music playing, I was distracted. <laughs> well, that was great fun, but unfortunately, we've come to the end of this video. Watch out for the next episode when I shall do some more of those dangerous drives. And uh, maybe when I finish the dangerous drives, I might move on to those some of those trucking challenges. Anyway. That's all for this video. Take care, guys. See you soon.